Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video should be a quick little video for you guys unless I wind up rambling on. But in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a few things. If you guys saw one of my videos I posted maybe like two months ago now at this point, a month ago now at this point, I will link it up here. Um, I shared in a past video how I felt like our fawn design diaper bag was just getting a little bit too big for us now that the boys are toddlers and they really don't need as much stuff when we leave the house. It's not like I need to carry bottles and bird cloths and diapers and all that kind of stuff in my diaper bag. I felt like the original fawn design was just too big for our needs at this point in time. And I was looking at getting a newer, smaller diaper bag to carry around for the boys. And I mentioned in that video how I really wanted to look into the fawn design minis since I love my fawn design bag. Now this video is not sponsored. Trust me, I wish it was. I love my fawn design diaper bag. I've had it for three years now at this point. I got it as a gift at my baby shower before the boys were born. I took it to the hospital with us. I take it traveling with us. I obviously take it out in our everyday lives when we take the boys places and it is still in great condition. You can see I seriously put it down on concrete, on dirt, on grass, anywhere and the bottom of the diaper bag is not scuffed up or ripped or torn or dirty in any way, shape or form. And even with having like formula in here and snacks and all that kind of stuff, it has held up so great over the years. So I wanted to look into the other Fawn Design diaper bags that they have to offer. And I knew that they had a mini version of this one that I had. Um, so I wanted to look into that. And then I do follow them over on Instagram. They posted probably about a week or so ago that they were having a 50% off their minis sale. So I jumped on the opportunity to get my mini for like $49.99 or something like that. I think it's originally $99.95 and I got it for 50% off. So I got it for basically 50 bucks. So this is the one I went with. The original one I have is in the light gray color and so I got the mini one in the black with the gold hardware they did have a black on black but it wasn't on their site I saw it over on their Instagram but not on their site I wish they had it on their site I would have gotten the black on black but I just got the black with the gold hardware the gray obviously also has that gold hardware even though it looks a little bit lighter of a gold than the black one but I did go ahead and get this in. So for today's video, I haven't shown like a what's in my diaper bag in so long. I've done a few like throughout vlogs when I was like going places. I would share with you guys like what I was putting in my diaper bag or what I bring like when we travel, when I would go to my grandma's house, when I would go to Harris's mom's house, just here, there in vlogs. But I haven't sat down and filmed like a true what's in my diaper bag. So I thought for today's video, I would show you guys what is in my very messy diaper bag if you guys can see we can sit here and clean out what is in here and then i can go ahead and organize and put what is in here and what i'm going to keep in the diaper bag into the new diaper bag i'm so sorry if the lighting is going in and out it's actually really nice today but it is cloudy so sometimes the sun goes behind the clouds i use natural lighting i'm sitting in front of a big window so if the lighting shifts that is what that is but Without further ado, let's dive into what I have in this one and we can clean this out and see what we're gonna put into the new one. So this diaper bag, like I mentioned, I brought to the hospital with me when I was giving birth to the boys. So I seriously think some of the stuff in here is from the hospital. I have not fully gone through and cleaned out this diaper bag in so long. So I'm definitely interested to see what has been collecting in this diaper bag for three years. I'm going to start with the back pouch here. Now the mini one is set up exactly the same way with a back pouch. So everything I take out of the back pouch will go in here. Like I'm basically just gonna shift everything over to the mini one. Like I said, I just don't carry around as much stuff, especially since we don't need diapers anymore since the boys are potty trained. And I have my O craft bag in the back of my car, which I also shared in the vlog where I talked about wanting to get a new diaper bag. That has like an extra pair of pants, an extra pair of underwear, an extra pair of socks, all that kind of stuff if the boys were ever to have an accident on the go. So I don't really carry that stuff in my diaper bag. So when I leave the house, aside from the staples that are in here, I just throw in like their water bottles and a few snacks. So I think the mini, there'll be more than enough space for it. So jumping in to this back pouch over here, this one here with the zipper, I have nothing in, at least I don't think I do. Yeah, nothing is in there. And then in this back pouch here that just has a button closure, I have a um, portable changing pad, which I obviously don't need anymore. So this I will throw off to the side and find a spot to save it for the next baby. And then I have a bunch of paperwork in here. I have a lollipop wrapper. Let's see how many of those are thrown throughout my diaper bag. What is this? 
think this is paperwork from when I went to a neurosurgeon for my brain. So that is very old. That's from like two maids ago. I have a um, like luggage ticket from when I flew once. I have, what is this? Some random paperwork from the boys pediatrician from when they got their pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, which I have no idea at what point that was. Um, and hepatitis A, oh, 15 months. So this is from their 15 month appointment, which obviously is very long ago now at this point. And I have another random piece of paper, which again, I think is paperwork from the boys pediatrician. Yeah, more vaccine paperwork from the pediatrician that I've just thrown in the back of my diaper bag. So nothing from this pocket is going in to the mini. Also, I do have it set up as a backpack. It does come with a strap that you can carry it on your shoulder that goes over the top and clips onto these hooks here. But for me, a backpack is just more practical. So I do use it as a backpack. I have this one set up as a backpack as well. So now let's do the side pockets. So there are two side pockets on the side of the Fawn Design bags. In this first one, I have a chapstick, which I am 1000% putting in my new diaper bag. I always have to have a chapstick on me. I have like one in my car, one in my crossbody bag, one in the diaper bag nightstand randomly throughout my house i always have to have a chapstick on me so we have a chapstick we have a random lid to something which is obviously going to go in the garbage and a sunglass holder which i don't know where the sunglasses are for that so i'm going to toss that as well so that one is empty and then there's an identical one on this side we have a hand sanitizer which i'm obviously going to keep this is the purell naturals hand sanitizer i'm going to put it in the same side pocket in the mini that i put my chapstick and I have an extra pair of socks of mine from when we did the little gym with the boys. You always had to have socks on if you weren't an adult. So I always had an extra pair of socks in my diaper bag just in case I was wearing flip-flops and didn't have socks. So these I'm actually going to throw in the wash. They're probably not washed and put away. I have a pen, which I'm going to stick in this diaper bag as well. You never know when you need a pen, especially when we used to go to the pediatrician so often and I would have to fill out paperwork. I always liked to have a pen on me. And I think that's everything. So that is everything in the side pockets. Then there are some front pockets over here. This front zipper one, I don't think I've touched in so long. In here, I actually have some prayer cards. So I have my dad's prayer card. These I put in here, obviously, when I was packing my diaper bag for the hospital and I wanted like guardian angels to watch over me. So I have my dad's prayer card as well as my stepmom's best friend, Diane, her prayer card as well. Diane was always such a like ray of sunshine and a super loving like motherly figure who was just so sweet and so nice so i wanted to make sure she was watching over me when i was giving birth to the boys as well because she definitely has that motherly figure to her so i'm actually going to stick the prayer cards in my new diaper bag to always have those on me as well and then in here i have a receipt to something Oh my god, this is literally from the hospital. Some kind of paperwork of the boys from when they were in the hospital. I have no idea. I think this is just how they told the difference between Jack and Ben when they were in the hospital because it's a blood sample or paperwork for a blood sample. And it says Stone A and Stone B because Stone is my last name. That is so funny. So that is everything in, actually, no wait, what else is in here? Um, a spare key to our house. Obviously going to toss that in here as well so that if I ever get locked out, I will have that on me. And then I also had um, Harris's insurance card. No idea why I have that in my diaper bag, but he definitely needs that. Um, and then there is another pocket here that flops open. I have the boys' vaccination like booklets, their pediatrician booklets from when we used to go to their appointments all the time when they were super young. This is Ben, let's see, it has like all their measurements. So at three weeks old, they were six pounds and nine ounces. When they were two months old, they were nine pounds and 15 ounces. When they were three months old, they were 12 pounds and 10 ounces. This is so funny. Four months old, 15 pounds. Oh, it has all their vaccinations up until, I guess the first a year and a half of their life because then they stopped filling it out. So 
I have those. I'm going to find a spot to save those for the boys. I'm not going to keep carrying those around. And then I also have an extra mask as well as <laughs> there is a restaurant around us that gives these little chips so you can get free ice cream for your toddler. And I have an extra one of those. So this stuff I am just going to stick into that front pocket in the mini as well. And now we can enter the main part to the diaper bag. So there is a pocket in the back as well as a zipper in the back. I don't think there's anything in the zipper one in the back yeah nothing there but i do have a bunch of stuff in this pocket and seriously most of this stuff is from when i was in the hospital with the boys the one thing i will say is that there is a lot of storage in these diaper bags a lot of random pockets and zippers and pouches and for having twins i had more than enough room to have two sets of bottles double the diapers everything like that in this diaper bag so whether you have one kid or two kids who are not twins or twins or triplets i think that this diaper bag would be a great fit for you because it is so spacious and you can fit so much stuff so in this back flap pocket i have the storage bag for this um diaper bag so i'm actually going to take that out so i can put that on this when i go and stick this into storage i also have some lollipops for the boys which i'm going to stick in my new diaper bag i always have those on hand um another extra mask this one i think i'm just going to put away for now because i don't need so many masks i think these are all just from like the beginning of the pandemic when i always wanted to have masks on me then i have a set of pads from the hospital these are the pads that they gave me that i left the hospital with they are super thick and plush to absorb all of that fresh postpartum bleeding these i always left in my bag because even though they are super obnoxious and huge you never know when you're going to start your period when you are out and about and even if it's not a tampon i would rather have something to stick on me and absorb the blood rather than having nothing so i do think i'm going to switch these over and keep these in the mini diaper bag as well and i also have a panty liner in my um, diaper bag as well you never know when you need that I have some random stickers from a clothing brand that Harris's parents gave us these I'm probably just going to toss I have a singular stick of gum and I don't know how long this gum has been in the diaper bag so I think I'm going to toss this as well I'm not going to risk eating stale disgusting gum and then I have one of these little pens that you fill up with water and you can um, color those like color changing like coloring pads with. I used to have two in here as well as the coloring pads for when we were out at restaurants. This I think I'm going to just toss because I don't know where any of the extra parts are for it. So that is everything in that first back pouch and I'm going to go around in a circle and do all the other pouches. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, no, one, two, three, four extra pouches around the perimeter of the diaper bag. I only have stuff in two of the pouches. So definitely lots of space in here and I didn't even wind up using all of the space so in the first pocket I have this ultra sheer face and body stick 70 SPF sunscreen I had this to carry around with me all summer especially if I like wasn't planning on being in the sun like if I went to the park with the boys or something and it wound up being a super sunny day or I realized that they were in the sun a lot I loved having a stick to just throw on their shoulders and throw on their faces quick so I am going to switch this over into the new diaper bag and I also have these diaper like disposable diaper bags in here these i do think i'm going to switch over to the new diaper bag even though the boys aren't in diapers anymore if they ever had a very bad accident and i needed to toss out their underwear or even just like throw out something gross like wipes or something i could use these so i think i'm going to stick these in the new diaper bag in that same pocket i have oh another set of disposable diaper bags. I don't think I need both. I think one of them I'm going to stick in the spare drawer we have upstairs. I have little packets of A and D from the hospital. Yet again, these I'm going to toss out because they are disgusting and covered in crumbs. I also have, I don't even know what this is, another piece of half chewed or expired gum. I have a infant 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 set of socks and then a disgusting black headband so all of this is going to get tossed into the garbage um that one is empty i have a set of masks for the boys so these i'm going to stick into my new diaper bag because you never know if you need a mask for your child especially going to the doctors they still require you to wear masks a lot of the times in doctor's offices and they never 
Like they really have the ones that actually fit the boys' faces. So I am going to stick these masks in the new diaper bag for the boys as well. I have a hair clip for myself because I never know when I want to throw my hair up and out of my face. So this I'm going to put in the new diaper bag. And that is everything for the side pockets. So we're diving into the main part of the diaper bag now where I have a lot of free floating stuff. So I have an actual tube of A&D ointment. Obviously the boys are not in diapers anymore, but I do like to carry this around um, mainly as chapstick. <laughs> um, but you never know when you need some A&D ointment on hand. So I am going to stick this tube in the new diaper bag. I have an extra pair of socks for the boys in here because we went ice skating with some friends a few weeks ago and I didn't know if the ice skates were going to fit the boys or if they were going to need another set of socks to make it fit. So I don't think I'm going to switch these Maybe I will throw these in the diaper bag. You never know when you need an extra pair of socks. I have another lollipop wrapper. I'm surprised we're only at two so far. An empty baggie from Snacks. Another empty baggie from Snacks. I have two unused diapers thrown in here. Obviously, the boys are not in diapers anymore. But you never know, you know, if you need a diaper or if they have an accident in their underwear and in their extra underwear or if a friend needs a diaper. So I think I am going to just fold these up and toss these into the bottom of the new diaper bag again, just in case. I also have, oh, another lollipop wrapper. I also have a wet bag in my diaper bag. I have a pretzel goldfish as well. I have a wet bag in my diaper bag. These were actually given to us by the summer camp that the boys went to over the summer. I actually gave one of the wet bags to the school so that the boys had an accident at school. They could throw the wet clothes into the bag and then in the boys' backpack so they wouldn't have like, wet disgusting clothes soaking in their backpack all day and then the second one i keep in my diaper bag because again you never know when your kid's going to have an accident if they're going to have an accident or even if your child throws up in the car or something like that this is a great place to save their clothes if you're going to take it home and wash them and also make sure that it's waterproof and make sure nothing's going to get on your diaper bag or spill out or anything like that so this i definitely am going to keep in my new diaper bag Oh, here's the other one of those little water pens. So maybe I will take both of these and keep these because we are going on a flight in two weeks actually. And I did get some water books for them. So an extra set of these water pens couldn't hurt just in case they do drop them on the flight or lose them or something. I have um, some shout in here, one shout wipe. I guess I'll keep this in my new diaper bag. You never know when you're going to need that. I have one, two old eaten lollipop sticks as well as an old used wipe, which I'm going to throw out. I have a packet of Motrin, which I'm going to keep in my new bag. You never know when you need that, if you have a headache or anything. And then I do have a birth cloth, which is unused. Um, I think I'm gonna to toss this into the new diaper bag as well, because if I don't have wipes on me or a napkin or anything, these are great to just wipe up spills or messes or anything. Now I normally do have a pack of water wipes in my diaper bag as well, but those get taken in and out of the diaper bag. Right now they're in our living room because the boys were having a snack the other day and needed me to wipe their hands. So usually when I would go to leave the house, I would throw in a pack of wet wipes into the diaper bag and that would be in there as well. So they're not in there right now, but I will throw them in whenever we have to leave. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that is usually in my diaper bag that is not in there right now. I feel like whenever we go to leave the house now, I would just grab their sippy cups and maybe some snacks and the wipes and throw them in the diaper bag. So I think that's everything that I'm going to put into the new bag from the old bag. And like I said, I don't think there's anything that's not in here that needs to go into the new bag. So now that she's empty, I'm going to actually vacuum it out. There's some crumbs in the bottom before I go ahead and stick the um, bag into its like storage bag and then throw this in my closet and save it for the next baby. So I'm going to quickly fill up my new diaper bag and then I will show you guys what it's looking like and we can close out today's video. Okay, everything about it fitting super easily into the smaller one. Now it does have the exact same number of compartments. The compartments are just a little bit smaller, obviously, to make this a mini as well as the main cavity it is definitely a lot smaller than the bigger one if you guys want like a true comparison here let me hold them up next to each other so you guys can see so this is the original and then this is the mini so you can see it's just a little shrunken down version of the original but it's still super spacious i was able to fit everything i needed to fit in here and i would definitely be able to shove in the boys two sippy cups right there next to the extra diapers i did decide to put the wet bag in the back flap over here so that it was out of the way of everything else. And then, like I said, usually all I throw in is a pack of wipes, which would fit perfectly, as well as the two sippy cups 
of the boys and some snacks on top. So I'm very happy that my new diaper bag is all set up so that I can start using it. I'm excited also when we fly in two weeks. Sometimes I find that this one is super spacious, but it also is a little bit heavy on your back sometimes. So I'm excited to have this one. Again, I'll be able to fit everything that I need to fit in here. Um, but also for it to be lighter and easier to wear on my back and move around. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this super random video. I have no idea if what's in my diaper bag videos are still popular or if people still really post them, but I had to clean up my diaper bag. And so I figured why not sit down and do it with you guys as well as share with you guys my new diaper bag that I'm super excited about. Like I said, this video is not sponsored, but I do recommend following Fawn Design on Instagram if you are in the market for one of their bags. They are a little bit pricey, but like I said, I've had this one for three years and there's seriously no wear or tear on it. And I used it basically every single day. Um, but I recommend following them because they do post sales quite frequently. And that is how I found out about the 50% off sale for the minis. So I highly recommend you follow them. I will have them linked down below. I'll have this one linked down below as well as this one. And I think that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.